Welcome to our evidence-based channel for awareness on mental health and relationship matters. If you find this video interesting or helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel. I'm your host, Ammar Mohammed. Welcome, and I'm very pleased that you chose to watch my video. In this video, I will be presenting an experiment that was done in 1978 by a psychologist named Mary Ainsworth. Mary Ainsworth is an American-Canadian developmental psychologist who is well known for her work on attachment theory. In this video, I will be presenting her experiment and her work and her conclusion. Later on, I will also discuss some of the work that was done by other psychologists and other researchers uh, in relation to attachment theory. This video will be revolving around the experiment called The Strange Situation. The experiment's goal is to address the child's security towards the primary caregiver in a strange situation. The experiment it focuses on testing the child's attachment style to the primary caregiver. In this experiment, the focus was on the mother. So in this experiment, the mother and the child were put in an experimental room. The experimental room had toys and a lot of interesting things for the child. The mom allows the child to explore the room and take time to accustom to their new environment. Later on, a stranger walks in the room and talks to the mother and later on gives attention to the child and starts playing with the child. During that time, the mom sneaks away A few minutes later, the mom comes back and gives attention to the child. A few minutes later, the mom leaves the room again. Leaving the child alone in the experimental room. A few minutes later, the stranger comes back. And then finally, the mother comes back. Dr. Ainsworth's main focus was how did the child manage that strange situation and how did he or she respond to that situation. This experiment focused on four aspects. Number one, how much time did the child explore the room without 
the attention of his mom. So the experiment was done that the mom was sitting down and allowed the child to be on his own or her own to explore the room. Number two is how did the child respond to the mother's departure or the first departure of the mother from the room? Number three, the anxiety of the child dealing with the stranger being with the mom and being with the child alone without the mom. The fourth and last focus point of this research was about the child's reunion behavior with his mother at the end of the experiment. So children have two types of attachment, either secure or insecure. And the further research uh, added more types of insecure attachment for children with their parents. In this video, I will be focusing on what causes insecure attachment or secure attachments with children. Number one, parenting behavior and parenting style. So the parenting behavior and parenting style does not determine the attachment style of the child. However, it does influence it. Research shows that also having that primary caregiver, it can be a parent, it can be um, a biological parent or it can be a significant person in that child's life who is taking care of that child's development. So when we say parenting here, it doesn't mean the biological person, the biological father, the biological mother. It's a, the person who is the primary caregiver. Uh, studies showed also that um, in adopted children and adopting parents and fostering parents were able and they were very successful to bond with their children and their children were able to develop a secure attachment with them. So when we're talking about parenting behaviors or parenting style, we're talking about the emotional attentions. Children who were raised by parents who are emotionally not available tend to be more likely to develop insecure attachment. Number two, infant temperament. Research had shown that children with high oxytocin levels, it's much easier for them to develop secure attachment with the parents, assuming that the parents have that emotional availability and emotional attendance. And the opposite is also true for children who are difficult to work with or more reactive to stressful situation would require more attention from the parents in order for them to develop that secure attachment. Number three, when the child experiences long hours without a parental care. Studies showed that the longer the child is left alone or not being attended by the primary caregiver, it increases the chances of the child's inability to develop a secure attachment with the parent. At the same token, this child is very likely to adapt to the secure attachment to the caregiver in the daycare more likely than to adapt and develop a secure attachment towards the mother or the father. Generally speaking, the child's ability to develop this secure attachment towards the parents or the, towards the primary caregiver differs and varies based on cultures around the world. I sincerely hope that you found this video interesting or helpful, and I can't wait to share with you my next talk. Until then, stay happy.
We present on this channel many topics on psychology and human behavior. If you find this video interesting or helpful, subscribe to be notified when we post the next video.